بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دی نیم آف اللہ دی موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ اینڈ دی موسٹ مرسیفل بیکاز اسلام سیز آئی ریپیٹ اسلام سیز نو فور بی امپلائڈ ان اسپریڈنگ اسلام آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ریپیٹ ونس اگین اسلام ٹیلس ان قرآن دیٹ نو فورس شوڈ بی امپلائڈ ٹو اسپریڈ اسلام دیر فار ایگزامپل جہاد جہاد از موسٹ ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ تھرو آؤٹ دی ورلڈ ناؤ دیر ایز اے ریفرنس ان جہاد انڈاؤٹیڈلی جہاد جہاد میز اسٹرگل اگینسٹ ایول جہاد میز اسٹرگل اگینسٹ ایول اینڈ پیرا ماؤنٹ ہیئر ایز ٹو دی ایول از ان سائڈ یور ہارٹ کلین یور ہارٹ اسلام ٹیلس ویری کلیئرلی ٹیلس ڈونٹ کل اینی بڈی بیکاز یو ہیو ناٹ کریٹیڈ دیم وین یو کینا کینا کریٹ میک ہم بارن وائی ڈو یو کل ہم اینڈ ہیئر ہی ڈز اسلام ڈز ناٹ سی دیٹ یو کل دی کل دی نان مسلم نو ویئر نو ویئر اٹ از مینشن دیٹ مسلم شوڈ کل دی نان مسلم اٹ از سین دائی ٹیل یو دیر فور دی ورڈ وچ از گیون ایز جہاد رانگلی انٹرپریٹیڈ مس انڈرسٹوڈ ایون بائی دوز پیپل ہو آر ہیلپ آف افیئر ایف سمبڈی از ڈوئنگ دیٹ اسلام گیو سینکشن فار دیس اٹ از ان اسلام ایک یو کین ٹیک اٹ فار گرانٹیڈ اسلام طلاق طلاق اٹ از آلسو مس انڈرسٹوڈ سوفیز ہیو نیور ایکٹیڈ اگینسٹ اٹ طلاق مینس دی موسٹ ان پلیزنٹ قرآن سیز دیٹ طلاق از دی موسٹ ان پلیزنٹ تھنگ اللہ سیز ان قرآن طلاق از دی موسٹ ان پلیزنٹ تھنگ بیٹر یو ڈو ناٹ ریسارٹ ٹو اٹ بیکاز یو ٹرائی ٹو پیچ اپ دی ڈفرینسز do not look toward the darker side or the evil found in your spouse in your wife or your husband and what is the message of allah the message of allah is to create or establish a human society free from exploitation free from dishonesty free from insensitivity and free from all evils their islam teaches equality when somebody is in trouble is distress you should not ask his religion Uh, you have to go to his rescue whether he is a muslim or a christian or parsi it doesn't matter they are they all belong to me i have created them no land no hatred towards any religion no hatred towards any language no hatred towards any culture no hatred towards color or creed therefore there is no superiority of a white man and a black man therefore this message should be spread be honest be truthful be merciful help the people respect your parents respect your guru respect the elders and work hard and earn your bread kay 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 lasa bismillahir rahmanir rahim in the name of allah the most beneficent and the most merciful la ilaha illallah محمد الرسول اللہ دیر از نو گاڈ بٹ اللہ دی اونلی ون ورزی آف ورشپ اینڈ محمد از ہز پرافٹ دی لاسٹ پرافٹ آف اسلام اینڈ نو مور پرافٹ از گوئنگ ٹو کم آفٹر ہیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورہ فاتحہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایا کا نابد و ایا کا نستعین اہدین السراط المستقیم سراط اللذین انعمتا علیہم غیر المقدوب علیہم ولدالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورہ اخلاص قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد dear friends i am thankful that a speech on sufism is being recorded sufism i would like to make it clear at the outset that it is not a separate religion at all just like jainism Sikhism, Buddhism, Christianity, and any otherism. It is only a part and parcel of Islam. It is 100% Islamic and nothing un-Islamic is in Sufism. I would like to mention here that people say that there is Sufism 
and many feel they give this opinion without going deep into the matter that it is a bit alienated from Islam. No, there are two types of tasawuf. Tasawuf is mysticism. Mysticism is called tasawuf, and the man who practices this tasawuf, tasawuf is called a Sufi. A Sufi is a practicing advocate, a practicing Muslim. Therefore, it's very clear that a man who practices according to the commands of Islam is a Muslim and a true Muslim who is particularly, who is com completely merged or acts according to the commands of Allah only he is a Sufi. He will not act in a way which is unbecoming of a Muslim and he will always strive hard throughout his life to hold the image of Islam and the principles and fundamentals of Islam. He will never go out of the orbit, out of the, um, out of, uh, the sphere of activity of Islam. Therefore, Sufi is one who is a practicing Muslim who always uh, not only teaches these fundamentals of Islam but acts. Therefore, action is more important than teaching. And the Sufis believe in doing the work according to the instructions laid down in Islam. Therefore, throughout the world, right from the days of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last Prophet of Islam, there have been some people who are there to spread the message of Allah. And what is the message of Allah? The message of Allah is to create or establish a human society free from exploitation, free from dishonesty, free from insensitivity, and free from all evils. Therefore, a, base, a society based on equality, fraternity, humanity, humbleness, and then happiness, honesty, sincerity, devotion to duty, and mutual cooperation, mercy, compassion, all these qualities, all the human values are to be protected. Islam wants that a humble society or a stable society is possible only when these human values are put into practice. And Islam always wants that irrespective of caste, color and creed, these human values should be spread among the masses. And who will do it? The question arises. And the, the, the question is very simple but very difficult to be answered. That a man, people who is dedicated to do this, uh, um, this uh, uh, testing job sh should come forward. And a man who has understood Islam in its right perspective and who has understood all the ins and outs of Islam by a thorough research only can do it. A Sufi is one who has understood all the principles and doctrines of Islam and then he has to act only according to that. You can say in a sense that he will have a broad vision but the vision will always be in the background of Islamic culture only. How the Islamic culture? Islamic culture is one which has been clearly explained in Quran. Quran is the holy book just like the Bible of Christianity and Gita of the Hindus. Quran, Muslims believe there is a word of Allah. Word of Allah, people do not know because it cannot be attributed to a human being. Why a lot of human cries there whenever some changes are suggested in Quran? It is because Muslims believe that Quran is a book which has revealed, which is revealed by Allah, the supreme creator, the, the, the saver, the provider, and the ultimate power who has the great power of creation, the ultimate creator, the great creator, and the great annihilator also. Because Islam tells that Allah is the only perfect power and no other power is worthy of worship. God is shapeless. God has no ambitions. God has no wife, no children, no kith and kin. And he doesn't have any human ambitions as a human being has. That I would like to make it abundantly clear. Therefore, at the outset, I told about this Surah Ikhlas. It says that, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. O Muhammad, tell the masses that Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Uh, there is only one God. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. 
अल्लाह समद आई डे ही डज डीट एनी पैशन नो इमोशन से दट इज ही इज फ्री फ्रॉम एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन ही ओनली नोस हाउ टू गिव ही डजेंट एक्सपेक्ट इन रिटर्न एक्सेप्ट ओबीडियंस से कुल हु अल्लाह अहद अल्लाह समद लम यलिज नाउ द पॉइंट कम्स God is neither born of anybody nor he has given birth to anybody that means to say he has no father no mother no sister no wife no kith and kin he is not born of a human being and he doesn't have and uh, doesn't have any wife or children to give birth to others therefore lam yalid wa lam yulad neither he is born out of any human being nor anybody has been born out of him قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد that is he is free from all emotions human emotions no materialism therefore we cannot say that he has human uh, emotions or human sensibilities but the thing is he knows every bit of the creation and he has made this great creation he created this universe only to see to ensure that the human beings which are created by him all the creations whether they are animals they are birds on the surface below the earth in the oceans on the top of the mountains in the valleys anywhere in the world whatever creations are there they are all created by allah only and he has a pakka mission he has a goal set a goal and his ambition and his mission is to see that all these living creatures live happily therefore islam stay islam puts a lot of emphasis on taking care of all these creations all living beings on the surface of earth and that responsibility has been given to man man is called the naib of khuda that be representative of allah that means to say god is a is a businessman or a very great uh, uh, investor and he has invested and made this big factory the world is a big factory created by him and naturally after investment uh, he wants a very capable person to manage the affairs it is just like a human being as a man invests a lot of crores and crores of rupees in his project uh, and he expects an excellent uh, dynamic manager to take care of all these things so that his industry grows from time to time and the people who work in the fact in the industry are also taken care of and they are happy. we this is the only intention of a good investor or a good industrialist or some great man allah is a great investor he has created this university this um, industry this world is in the entire universe and he has placed man in charge of all these things as a real representative to carry on the mission of allah and this work is to be done by human beings alone therefore god says allah says we call allah as god allah allah is god in quran the word allah is used in quran therefore muslims always use the word allah only they don't say as god and he, that is his mission and he has created the entire world and he says that there is no distinction or discrimination between man and man all are my uh, creations only but i have divided them into different uh, castes and different uh, um, different dynasties and different groups different tribes for easy location that means to say for easy identification some are in japan some are in germany some in asia some in india some in pakistan some in other country they are all divided so that they can live happily in the patches of lands and there i have provided enough for things for their livelihood they should work there they have got their own language they have got their own culture they have got their own uh, whims and fancies but the ultimate aim is to pray allah and to consider to always hold this in high esteem that there is only one god and we are all subordinate to him and we should act he has provided enough of material he has provided intelligence that is man is blessed with remarkable intelligence man should use why this universe has been created what is the what is the purpose of creation of human beings on the surface of earth it is only to understand the sufferings of people and come to the rescue and irrespective of caste color and creed islam teaches equality when somebody is in trouble is distress you should not ask his religion and you have to go to his rescue whether he is a muslim or a christian or parsi it doesn't matter they are they all belong to me i have created them no land no hatred towards any religion 
no hatred towards any language no hatred towards any culture no hatred towards color or creed therefore there is no superiority of a white man on a black man na gore gore ko kale par faukhiyat the aur na kisi aur shakhs ko that is color distinction is not there language barriers are not there religious barriers are not there they all belong to the only one family that is human family you work with them as the siblings of a single family they come to the rescue of another another man this is how you should always say act like brothers like with blood relations go to the rescue whenever they are in need this is for this purpose i have created on the surface of earth and now i have given the book this is not the first book that god has revealed on the surface of earth adam is the first prophet of islam adam and eve and since then since then god knows when they were created from days immemorial and no more than 1 lakh people have been appointed him selected by him uh, as his prophets who are the people who are selected the people who are selected by him are from different parts of the world in america in germany in france in india in sri lanka anywhere in the world good people the best among the lord blessed with highly intellect with the good characters only they have been picked up from among the same group from the same place and then he has been proclaimed as he is my representative and that man whether he is jesus whether he is moses whether he is noah whether he is joseph whether he is yaqub whether he is a prophet muhammad these are the people more than 1 lakh people i have selected them they are the best the best character you cannot come across any type of or even an iota of bad quality in them such people i have picked up and these people i have asked them to convey a message the message to be conveyed to them and make them understand is, there is only one god and he alone is worthy of worship therefore worship cannot be divided prayer may only one allah is there you bow your head only before allah and you ask for mercy from only from him and you ask all your necessities only from him therefore i am the provider nobody else all human beings get from me if you don't go and ask any human being to give something to you because i give to all the human beings a human being cannot give to you independently he should take from me and then give to you therefore asking for anything any material benefit or any other spiritual benefit from the people is completely ruled out i alone can give i am the only competent person who can give to any person and what is the quantum quantum is indefinite i can give anything any amount of um, of things i can give to you you ask me only not to anybody else therefore mai zarurat puri karne wala hu aapko और आप मुझे से इया का नाबुदू व इया का नस्तईन एट द आउटसाइड आई रिसाइटेड सूरह फातिहा 